breaking in the administration's 50 running scandals. Bush. Number three, pain at the gas pump gate. President Bush taking a page from the McCain campaign showing utter cluelessness in how to bring gas prices down. Today, Bush urged con Congress to expand oil drilling in Alaska and offshore. And if Congress doesn't, he says it's their responsibility to explain why to their constituents. Actually, Mr. President, it's your responsibility to explain how on earth increased drilling could lower gas prices anytime soon. More oil does not magically turn into more gas. More oil turns into more gas only when we do more refining. The oil refineries we have are running at capacity. We are at capacity because your oil buddies have been using any excuse they can to close refineries so they can pad their profits. Number two, Environmental Protection Agency gate. Fifteen months ago, the Supreme Court ordered the EPA to determine whether greenhouse gases harm humans. Six months ago, the EPA had a written report ready to go that said global warming indeed harms humans. The White House blocked that report. Three weeks ago, the EPA was prepared to say the Clean Air Act is workable and effective. But today, the EPA released its report. No finding on whether greenhouse gases harm humans, ignoring the Supreme Court. And that Clean Air Act that was okay last month, it's apparently no good now. Who could possibly be behind the notion that it's okay to ignore the highest court in the land and also to discredit the Clean Air Act? Anonymous officials inside the EPA say it's all the work of Dick Cheney's office. No way. Way. And number one, EPA Gate, the sequel, the agency values your life at $6.9 million. Sounds good, right? Well, actually, that figure is down a million dollars. You were worth nearly eight million bucks just five years ago. It all may seem a little random, but the government actually uses this figure to calculate the cost-benefit analysis of whether it's worth trying to save your life, whether a regulation with a safety benefit is worth its cost. So, for instance, it's cheaper to let you die from global warming than to pay the cost of cutting back on greenhouse gas emissions. So in this election season, when anyone asks you if you're better off now than you were eight years ago, literally, according to your government, you can tell them you're worth a million fewer dollars than you used to be.